better chance. So Mark saw Wooly possibly get traded. Now, if you don't know the Grizzlies, I believe they are on an eight-game winning, I mean losing streak, somewhere around that. They're not doing too swell right now. They're not doing too good right now. Now, as you can see here, Marcus Saul has low interview. You can tell he's mad, but he's he's trying to be a good teammate. If you just watch this. Of winning the game without me. Obviously, you you get frustrated. Um, you take it personal. Um, at the same time, you gotta think about your teammates that are out there, and you gotta cheer for them. And that's that's you know you you have two options at that point. You gotta be you know you can start pouting and be negative. Obviously, you know you get frustrated, and, and I did get frustrated and mad and, and start wondering. At the same time, I see you know my teammates and my, my friends, the guys that I work with out there, and uh, trying to get a win. And uh, and, and I, I'm, I'd rather you know try to focus on the positive of that. And, uh, and, and to see them struggle and not being able um, to help them um, makes your mind go to the negative side, so you're trying to bring it back in. So it's a tough war uh, on your mind, trying to you know, stay positive. It's a situation that I'm not used to, um, that I don't want to get used to. Now, he's a good teammate. Now, will he get traded? Four destinations he could get traded to. I mean, the first one in my opinion, would be the best place for him to get traded is the Celtics. The second is the Cavs, or I'd say the Spurs. Third is the Cavs, then is the Raptors. Some of you might be sleeping on the Raptors. Y'all are going to be like, well, you should go to Spurs or Cavs. But now the Raptors would be an okay spot for him. Cavs, pretty good, but chemistry issues, yes. Um, of course... And the coaching staff, I don't think the coach would know how to play him. But that would be good for Marcus Gasol, though. Because Marcus Gasol, he does play really good against the Warriors. So, that would be pretty dangerous for the Warriors. Spurs, same deal. Dangerous for the Warriors. Celtics, pretty dangerous for the Warriors. If Marcus Gasol goes to the Celtics, I think they... The Celtics are almost on the same level. But Marcus Gasol... When he goes to the Celtics, they're pretty much on the Cavs level. And when they get Gordon Hayward back, they they might be a little better than the Cavs. Because that's Gordon Hayward, Kyrie, and Marcus Gasol. Woo! Marcus Gasol is a great player. I think he's in kind of an underrated uh, center. He plays defense, plays offense, really good at the three ball now, or pretty good. Um, drastic improvements. But, yeah. Is he going to be traded? I think Danny Ainge, if I were the if I were the Celtics, I wouldn't trade. I would trade probably Al Horford, but they I think they should kind of keep Al Horford, but if the Grizzlies don't really want to do a trade unless like they give Al Horford up and two picks. They they have to give them like about Two first round picks. Doesn't have to be top three. Maybe one does. And one could just be an unprotected. That'd be a great trade for both teams. And the Celtics have many other picks too. So, but Danny Age, he's too passive though. But can they get him? Or maybe they could trade a couple of solid players and give them two first round picks. You know? But I'm not sure, guys. Be sure to leave a like. If you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed and be sure to hit the notification bell for more daily content all right thank you for watching have a great night